just terrifying. I mean, I don't even I don't even know. Like I don't know what to say about that. Durham community in disbelief this morning after police charge a father with attempting to murder his own children. Good morning and thanks for watching WNCN Today at 11. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And good morning. I'm Stephan Chase. A Raleigh man is charged with attempted murder after police say he tried to drown his own children in the Durham Lake. Pretty horrific story here. It happened behind an apartment complex on Sunday night. We've been following this story throughout the morning and brought you the very latest with our breaking news alert. WNCN's Emma Wright joins us live with more. Emma. Police say Alan Lassiter tried to drown his own children. They say the youngest two, the three-year-old and the five-year-old, they are in the hospital. They say the seven-year-old was able to escape and run for help. We're going to show you some video of the pond where that man attempted to drown his children. Durham police say an off-duty sheriff's deputy was first on the scene and was able to pull the kids out of the water and perform CPR. They say the three-year-old is in critical condition, the five-year-old in stable condition. Neighbors tell me this is very shocking. They say the apartment complex is usually very quiet and filled with children. Well, you think about your own children, like right away you think, gosh, my, my children are at that pond every day. They're always begging us to go fishing, but we always go with them. And um, it seems like there were some circumstances behind this. It wasn't just, oh, a kid was over there and they slipped in. Like there was definitely some circumstances going on. That, like, that's insane. Who, who would do that? You know, it just, it's, it's, it's crazy. Alan Lassiter is in the Durham County Jail on $2,250,000 bond. We are expected to hear from Durham Police Chief Lopez in just a few minutes. We are going to bring you that press conference live, and we'll bring you the updates along with that when that happens. Reporting live in Durham this morning, I'm Emma Wright, WNCN News. Thanks for that update, Emma. We appreciate that.